the whole world is in a global banking crisis. But the bank I'm talking about isn't in our cities, it's everywhere. It's a bank that we all rely on every second of every day, just like our ancestors did before us. And if we make the right choices, our descendants too. Last year, this bank provided $33 trillion in free resources and free services. But this bank is rapidly running out of savings. Savings that take a long time to replace. This bank is the oldest we know of, and we are all totally reliant on it. This bank is our home. This bank is the earth. Our impact on the Earth's bank depends on two things. How much we individually consume, and more importantly, how many consumers there are. We are now consuming the Earth's resources faster than ever before. In fact, if everyone lived like an average European, the Earth could only support two billion in the long term. This year, the world population will exceed 7 billion consumers. With so many consumers, it places enormous stresses on ecosystem services. Every single human civilization that has ever existed has relied upon and grown wealthy on the back of ecosystem services. From the bees that pollinate our fruit trees for free, to the ancient organisms that became fossil fuels that drive our world today. When we combine the impact of increasingly large numbers of people consuming resources faster than the planet can replenish or replace them, we have a major problem. I call this problem overconsumpulation. If we don't get the world population down to 2 billion, then the poor can never escape poverty, nor can ecosystem services recover. This leaves us two options. Number one, we all support the use of voluntary contraception globally, then choose to stop at two children or less. This will drastically reduce the 78 million unintended pregnancies worldwide each year, three million of which were in the USA. The alternative is to do nothing. That will make overconsumpulation even worse. And it will contribute to the following. 